I'm going to show you a really neat way of making your loop grid items basically staggering like what you just saw on screen. I'm going to hit refresh again just so you can see it. And this will work with products, posts, custom post types. And all you've got to do is drop a bit of HTML scripting and it does all the magic for you. And I am not joking about how simple this is. This is actually pointing to a custom post type and it will work regardless of what you pick. All you got to do is pop your loop grid on, go and style it. I'm only showing the featured image. You might have more details, read more buttons, whatever you want to go for. And you don't even have to add any class name. All you got to do is drop a HTML widget. And don't worry when you are viewing it live or, you know, preview or whatever, you won't see the HTML widget. All you do is drop that on your page where your loop grid is and then paste as code. Now, one word of warning, as soon as you do that, the loop grid does kind of disappear until you go and view it in preview. And if that ever bothers you, just get rid of the code and it will appear back for you. And that's all you have to do. You drop this bit of code in, you can go and tinker with some of the settings over here. If you want to have a slightly different transform effect, or if you want it to appear quicker or slower. Now, does this work with a taxonomy filter? I have found it does. But on some occasions when you clicked like a filter, nothing appeared and then sometimes it did. So there's a bit of code. If you want to go and tinker with it, be my guest. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. But if you want to have a bit more of a staggered effect rather than all of your loop grid items appearing all in one go, this might be quite nice for you. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon.